what exactly is a light year? What is it? I'm sure you've heard of that expression, light years, but what is a light year? Well, let's talk about what a light year is not. A light year is not a unit of time. When you hear of seconds, minutes, hours, days, years, those are units of time. But when you see light year, even though it has the word year in it, you need to be careful because you might be tempted to think that it's a unit of time, but it's not. A light year is a unit of distance. More specifically, it's a unit of astronomical distance. A light year is the distance that light travels in a year. Now, for instance, the distance between our sun and Proxima Centauri is very far. It's 4.246 light years, which represents trillions of miles. So when you're dealing with such great distances from one solar system to another, it's convenient to describe those distances using light years. So now that we know what a light year is, let's describe it in terms of units of distances that we're familiar with, like meters, kilometers, and even miles. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to convert light year into those different units. So let's start with part A. How long is one light year in meters? In order to get this answer, we need to calculate the distance that light travels in a year. The distance is going to be equal to the speed of light multiplied by the time that it travels. Now the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. That's 300 million meters in one second. The time is one year. Now, because the speed has the unit seconds in it, we need to convert years into seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with one year. Now, there's 365 days in one year. Now, if you want to include the leap year, it's really 365.25 or 24 days per year. But if you were to use 365 days per year, your rounded answer will still be accurate enough. Now, there's 24 hours per day. And there's 60 minutes in one hour. And we have 60 seconds per minute. So all of this right here this represents P in this equation. All we've done is we've converted one year into seconds. Now I'm going to multiply this by V, the speed of light. There's 3 times 10 to the 8 meters for every second. So notice the unit years cancel. The units days cancel. Hours. Minutes. And seconds. So we're left with the unit meters. So if we multiply V by T, we're going to get the distance D, and that's going to be in meters. So 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 times 3 times 10 to the 8. That's going to give us this answer, 9.46. 08 times 10 to the 15 meters. So that's the distance of one light year. That's how many meters 
is equal to. So now we can also get rid of this. So I'm just going to write that here. So one light year is equal to 9.4608 times 10 to the 15 meters. Now let's convert this to kilometers to get the answer for part B. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. So we need to divide by 1,000. When you divide by 1,000, basically we're going to decrease this number by 3. So it's going to be 9.468, I mean 08, times 10 to the 12 kilometers. Now, 10 to the 3rd, that's a kilo. That represents 1,000. 10 to the 6 represents a mega or 1 million. 10 to the 9 represents a giga or 1 billion. When you see 10 to the 12, that's a trillion. And 10 to the 15 is a quadrillion. So a light year is 9.4 six quadrillion meters. It's also 9.46 trillion kilometers. Now let's convert it to miles. Once you have kilometers, you could use this conversion factor. So one mile is 1.609 kilometers. All we have to do is take this answer, divide it by 1.609. So we get that one light year is approximately, I'm going to round it, 5.88 times 10 to the 12 miles. So a light year is about 5.9 trillion miles. So that's the distance of a light year in miles. So now if we think about the distance between the sun and the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, we said it was, let me draw a picture. So let's say this is the sun. And far outside our solar system, we have Proxima Centauri. And that is 4.246 light years. If you take that number and multiply it by 5.88 times 10 to the 12, this will give you approximately 2.5 times 10 to the 13 miles, which is about 25 trillion miles. So that's the approximate distance between our sun and the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. It's about 25 trillion miles apart. But when you're dealing with astronomy, it's easier to describe that in terms of light years. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good introduction into the concept of light years. For those of you who want more example problems on things like this, distance, speed, time, kinematics, and other physics-related topics, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to be posting more content in that area. So feel free to check that out when you get a chance.